Freaking at the Freaker's Ball, y'all. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. This is the Freaker's Ball. I am Grimner. Moose Girl will be along shortly, I assume. I haven't seen her talking in the chat for a while, so I can't be sure. Anyway, it's Friday night here. Friday night, January 31st, 2020. That's right. This is the final day of the first month of January 2020. So I hope you all had a good January out there, a good start to the new year. Although, is a month in still considered a new year? I, I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, we're, we're here, we're live, uh, we're on reallibertymedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page and uh, vaughn.live slash reallibertymedia. That's for the video feeds there. And also the chat is there on reallibertymedia.com where you can jump on in and try and spot the Feekers. Yes, we're Feekers. New decade even. That's right. That's right. 20% of the the 21st century has ticked away. 20%. Wow. Well, I guess it'll be 20% at the end of the year. But we're close. You know, close enough. Um <laughs> Anyway, welcome to everybody out there on the audio stream as well. Uh, we got the folks over there on realliberty.org and freedomsnetwork.com tuned in. Uh, we, we also have, uh, people may have seen the, the messages over there on Twitter. I have uh, a couple different Twitter accounts that I tweet out to. And uh, over here on minds.com and all the other places where the audio stream goes out to. We always appreciate y'all out there. From the various places you may be. So, hi, howdy, how you doing? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, Blackbird, I want to say hi. Hey, Blackbird! All right. Come on over to the chat, man. Um, <laughs> what was I going to tell you about? I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, at at the end of the show here in uh, Moriarty, New Mexico, uh, mountain time zone, uh, it'll be February. It'll be February. For some of y'all, you're probably much closer to February or already in the February. And February, as you may or may not know, depending on how long you've been hanging around Real Liberty Media and listening to the Freakers Ball, uh, February is the uh, donation drive month. So uh, starting tomorrow and for the next 29 days, it's a leap year, right? Uh Yeah. 29 days, we'll be having our, our annual donation drive that, that pays for, like, all the various costs that it costs to run uh, this website, this, uh, all, all all of this stuff, the various servers I need to pay for, and things such as that. So, uh, feel free to get up off them wallets and send some money all along uh, using the donate button there on reallibertymedia.com. Yeah, that, uh, that accepts the, uh, donations via PayPal, but you don't need a PayPal account to pay for it. Uh, you can use whatever uh, credit cards or other plastic type stuff you have. Also, uh, I mean, if you have Bitcoin or Dogcoin, Dogecoin, that you want to throw throw this direction, uh, do that, but let me know, because I don't often check those, uh, uh, those things, so if you're going to donate uh, Doge or Bitcoin, uh, just uh, please let me know. Uh, through an email or something because uh, I, like I said I don't I don't really check them all that often so uh, that that'd be cool either way but uh, cash cash is the preferred method since most of the services I use do not accept cryptocurrencies as payment uh, all right and uh, so let me say hi and howdy to the folks over here in the chat uh, yeah yeah we got a we got a group tonight we got a group uh, we got the barman. Hey, Barman! How you doing, buddy? Beetle and, Cow Beetle and Cowboy Tech, uh, myself and the Moose Girl is logged in here again, though. I said uh, she hasn't uh, checked in with me yet, so I'm not sure exactly where she's at. Uh, we got Miss Kate. Hey, Kate, how you doing? Um, Anti and Asmo, Agile Sedoni, Miss Circle, uh, Circleen, Circle O, 
Pat Jalan and Java Doctor, Meister Meister, a Mooster Brown. I, I, Meister, he may be out uh, uh, doing security guard stuff at a hockey game tonight. I think he said tonight. All right, we got Prince who did his show last night solo. Yeah, Prince went all solo on us last night because uh, his normal co-hosts, two, two, uh, apparently just didn't show up. Mr. Rob Works in the all-famous Bubla. And uh, don't forget, go to robworks.com, you know, when you can, and uh, get some of that wonderful CBD stuff, man, and CBG as well. So, yeah, check it out. Just go, on, go over to robworks.com. You'll see when you get there what it's all about. And, uh, hey, buy some. Get some. It's, it's for your health. For your health. Uh, then we have Mr. Rome's in here as well who uh, has been having interesting times talking to himself. <laughs> Vanna White and Weather Dark Bots. Uh, they're wonderful bots. we got the Phantom C C 66 Just your uh, the Cyborg Doodle. Miss Damn Van Beater. Come on down! Oh, <laughs> you're the next contestant on the Freaker's Bow. we got Ensive and Frumpy and Gromit. And, uh, JJJJs at 99 JJJs. We got the Kiss, the, uh, occasional duck stealer. Yeah, Kiss, you know, he doesn't talk too much in here, but every now and then he'll pop up right when there's like a duck flying by and snag that duck. <laughs> we got Pone Toss and Sock Puppet, the famous Sock Puppet, Mr. Slim uh, Jim, a uh, Flim, the Flim Flam Man, Smart Ass Bot. Uh, the holiest of Rogers and Mr. Zip X, who was supposed to be there with Prince last night and was a no-show. <laughs> all right, all right. What else we got to tell you about? Oh, okay. Um, sometime back in, like, uh, November, I had ordered uh, on this on this real cheesy website called Wish.com, and all of their stuff comes directly out of China. I don't know where in China it comes directly out of, but directly out of China. And one of the things I ordered, I ordered a various mix of stuff, cheap crap. But one of the things I ordered was a harmonica. And I was waiting, waiting, waiting on that harmonica, and it never did come. It never did come. Uh, it was a four to four dollar, four dollar harmonica. <laughs> that was with shipping, including shipping from China, by the way. Uh, so now recently we we've had this uh, uh corona virus stuff coronavirus stuff uh and so I <laughs> but anyway about about a week week and a half ago something like that um uh it came to the time I was like all right you guys aren't ever going to send me my harmonica so I sent them a email I sent them an email and they and they immediately refunded my 420 uh, for for that harmonica, and, and um, so I said, all right, well I got this 420. What am I? What I, I still want the harmonica. Uh, so I ordered one off of Amazon, which was fifty cents more, four dollars and seventy six cents. So fifty six cents more, uh, and so so it came in. Uh, but as after it came in, and I was thinking to myself, hey, is this one of these Chinese harmonicas? Am I gonna actually breathe through this thing? <laughs> anyway, I looked it up, and it, this is actually made uh, in Germany. So <laughs> I guess I'm, I guess I'm good. I'm not gonna get Wu. I'm not gonna get the Wuhan flu off of my harmonica. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, hey Moose, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Good. Yeah, I was just. Uh, Regaling the the, the 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 listeners with my harmonica tail. <laughs> All right, yeah. I heard a little bit of it. You sound you sound different. You sound different. I'm on different headset. Oh, okay, that's why you sound different. All right, all right, cool. Well, let me uh, see if I can. Uh, bump How up. different do I sound? Oh, you just sound a little different. That's all. Um, yeah, uh, no, 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 uh, not. I mean, you still sound like you, if that's the question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is Rome saying hello? I don't know. Why Rome's is saying hello? Hello, Rome's. Hey, Rome. Oh, maybe he's talking to himself again in his head. He does that a lot, you know. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay. So uh, I, so you see, so got the new headset in, and uh, how you like it? Well, I had first time I'm using it, really. Okay. Okay. I mean, I tested it out, but. Yeah, you know, you you sound um you sound a little um more mellow on it. Oh, really? Yeah, you got you got like a. Okay. Well, maybe I need to turn the volume up. No, 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 no. Not quieter, just more mellow, like a. Oh. Yeah, like a, a lower, a lower pitched voice, like a a, a more a more radio voice. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I like it. I like it. All right. The, cool. It's the it's the the sexiness. Ooh, <laughs> baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hope it's you know. So you, the harmonica from Germany is probably a better better choice anyway. Oh yeah, you know it's basically the same price, and uh, this one actually came with a little box to keep it in with a little cleaning rag. And the, oh, okay. the, the Chinese one didn't have that, you know. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So whatever, it's it's uh, it sounds good. I, I needed a C. I, the other one, I have an A, and but my my I had a, also had a G, but the G one is dented, so I can't. Oh, okay. It, so it, I can't use it. Some of the reeds are all tweaked out of shape. Uh, but uh, for for uh, every you know. Blues is pretty much a uh, C harmonica um, right. key because this uh, and don't don't ask me exactly how this works, but to play blues in G, you use a C harmonica. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I've been learning some stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So cool. There's a the different differences. Uh, le- learning a little harmonica, learning a little guitar. Just uh, That's cool. playing around, you know, trying to get get my uh, my guitar fingers in shape. They're not in shape. They're it's it's a it's a rough transition from non playing to playing. You have to you have to you have to build up calluses on your fingertips and 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 you and you got to strengthen your fingers. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, so it takes a lot of work, actually. Yeah, you're getting that initial part down, but it's all right. <laughs> so what's what's new with you? Not much. Just um, got through another week. Good, good. Um, I won't. I I probably won't be here. I might not be here next Friday. All but right. But I know for sure that I am going to the infamous String Dusters next Saturday. Which is where? Um, in Kimberly, Wisconsin, which is right by Appleton. All right, so about eighty so, miles. Yeah. About eighty miles. Uh, about a three-hour drive. Okay. A little over three hours, but that's not bad. It's not, yeah, a it's not too bad. It'll be it's fine. Not too bad. Yeah, it, I mean it's the dusters. Hello. Yeah. yeah, I know, but I mean you know because <laughs> I I saw something and it was like well, it's about. Six eight hours from for maybe a little less. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe less than eight, but about around six hours to Denver from here. Yeah. Okay. And on uh, the sixth, I'm not sure what day that is next week, next Thursday or Friday next week. Samantha Fish is playing there. Ooh, baby. Uh, but I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not surprised. That's Denver, man. I don't want to drive all the way to Denver to see a show. Yeah, right. Uh, That's know. that is a ways. Yeah, maybe if she came to Albuquerque, probably maybe kind of. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Anyway, her birthday was yesterday. All right, cool. She, she is 31 years old now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so happy birthday, Sam. Yeah. And uh, what else? What else? So you may not be here Friday, but you definitely won't be here Saturday, which I don't really care. It doesn't matter on Saturday, right? <laughs> I'm just, uh, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Dusters next Saturday. The reason I might not be here Friday is because Bella Fleck and Abigail Washburn are playing at the Pablo Center here in Eau Claire, 
and I might go to that because he's like they're like one of the best. They're like two of the best banjo players in the friggin' world. Bella Fleck so, and the Fleck Tones. Bella, Bella Fleck, yep. And the Fleck Tones. No, it's just him and his wife <laughs> Abigail Washburn. All right. They're both really, um, really talented on banjo. Well, you know, you probably want to rest up, uh, you know, before going. Yeah, up, maybe. Before going up to see the Dusters, you know. Probably. Yeah. Like I didn't buy a ticket ahead of time for Bella. Yeah. Because. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going, but right. anyway. Yeah. Odds are I will be here. Good, 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 good. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, I'm really looking forward to uh, the Dusters next weekend. So. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, I know you listen to them all the time on the live stream, so. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing like a live show, though. I know. Nothing like being there. Nothing like being there. Getting that sweat on you. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> Dusters will do that. Yes, indeed. So, yeah. Other All than right. that, I'm fine. Other than that, um, the boys are going to be working and paying me to live here. Sweet. So, there you go. That's, that's, that's got to happen. That damn time. Oh. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Really? Come on. <laughs> I'm ready to leave. You know, I'm ready to fucking bail. Yeah. Well, you can't so, let them. You can't let them chase you out of your own house. No, but I mean, they can live here if they want. If they want to pay the rent, pay the rent to me. Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh God. Okay, well, let's get some jams here. You ready? You ready for that? Uh yeah, I'm ready for that. All right, all aboard. All righty, enjoy, people. <laughs> what show? Yeah, you're on the you're on the you're on the last train to Rockville, right, man? And that train kept it rolling. Oh, the was there. Uh, yeah, before that we had Joe Bonamassa with a slow train from the uh, Tour de Force Royal Albert Hall, and kicked it off with Ozzy Osbourne and the Crazy Train. Yeah, it's a crazy train. It's a slow train, and that train. It's a crazy kept town. Them. To, to, to ro- the last train to Rocksville. The crazy town. Yep. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Good. Yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah. So, uh, wow, all kinds of. Oh yeah, let me. Uh, uh, some of y'all just mentioned uh, the the Vinny, Vinny situation. Uh, okay. Vinny, he's been in the hospital the last few days there. Yep. And he'll be in there for a few more days. He uh, he uh, came up with some serious medical issues uh, yep. that had to be dealt with, but he's doing fine. He's doing fine. They got him in there. Uh, apparently, yep. apparently, he's got some, uh, what, what do you call it? The uh, the uh, Medicare? Medicare? Oh, okay. To pay for that shit. So, uh, oh, good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's good, and, uh, so he, he's doing all right, feisty as hell still ever. I talked to him last night. Uh, he's, yeah, but he's, uh, he's a hurting one. He is, well, he's, I think he, he's, he's on pain meds. He's on good pain meds. I, I, well, he told me that they, they were offering him stuff like, uh, morphine, and he said, hell no, I ain't taking that. You give oh, me, really? You, okay. You, you give me something else that, that don't, uh. You know, cause those problems that morphine does, and, and right. So he's well, that's he, good. So he's on something less, you know, something. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, he, you know, tough guy. Uh, but you know, taking that, he, they uh, they uh, put a tube. They they cut a hole in his butt cheek there, and uh, put stuck a tube up in there to drain out whatever, uh, whatever's in there. Yeah, that's not good. You're gonna take care of that stuff. That okay. shit can kill you. Yeah, he was he was he was right right close to death. That's for sure, man. He, uh, yeah, he, he, you can he, become septic. Yeah, he was he was with, within hours of sepsis. So. Oh my gosh, really? Oh uh, yeah. They told him. Lots, well, yeah, and he, yeah, he, I mean, he called. He had to call. Oh the, my uh, god. He, he had to call the the ambulance to uh, take him down there to the hospital. How do you uh, not? There had to have been symptoms leading up to it. Well, was there that. was, there was, but he didn't he didn't realize what they were. You know, oh, okay. I, no, I mean, it, that can happen. I'm not yeah, I mean, you, you, 
get that stuff going on inside. It might feel like this or that. You know, he thought he was like constipated or something. Right. So, yeah. So, you know. You yeah, don't know. You the, know. The, the prostate. Yeah. The prostate was locking off his uh, his bowels and, and urinary tract there, and he couldn't leak or, or take a leak or, or oh, take a wow. dump. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, and, and so he was taking the, what castor oil to try and you know clear, clear oh. it out. But uh, yeah, that was that was a no go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, well, he had an issue, so yeah, so, taken care of, which is so, good. So he's he's uh, he's uh, he's he's healed and on the mend. So that's good. Uh, so uh, best best uh, best of wishes to you out there. Yeah, Mr. get well soon, Ben. Hang in there, buddy. Yep, well, you're you're our brother here on on RLM, and uh, and, and we miss you. We glad around. you're fine. Glad you're okay. Glad you got in the hospital. And everything, glad everything worked out for you. Yeah, so he'll he'll be around. He's gonna he'll be in the hospital through the weekend, and then he's gonna be someplace else where he's not gonna have internet for a while. But uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way to keep in touch there. So see what, what the hell's going on, you know? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So I just found this article. Okay, good. January 29th, 2020, from the the website returntonow.net. Okay. Minnesota will pay homeowners to replace lawns with bee-friendly wildflowers, wildflowers, clover, and net native grasses. Minnesota okay. just allocated nearly a million dollars in incentives for people to transform their lawns into bee-friendly wildflowers, clover, and native grasses. The state is asking citizens to stop spraying, spraying herbicide, stop mowing so often, and let their lawns rewild into a more natural state. I'm all the for that. Is, yeah. The goal yeah. is to provide food sources for pollinators of all kinds, but was specific, specifically aim at saving the rusty patch bumblebee, a fat and fuzzy species on the brink of extinction that seems to be making its final stands in the cities of the upper Midwest. That's the... Star- that's that's uh, the uh, rusty patch bumblebee. Rusty patched, with an E D. Okay. Patch E D. Bumblebee, a yeah. fat and fuzzy species on the brink of extinction. <laughs> it's right. you know it's those fuzzy ones, those right. big fat ones. You know that yeah, big fat body. You know. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I didn't know. I didn't know they. I never knew they were called that. <laughs> I didn't either. All right. I just called them bumblebees. I mean, yeah, bumblebees, bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. The loss of native prairies and forests across the country has made pollinators more dependent on urban and suburban lawn flowers, says James Wolfen, a bee habitat researcher at University of Minnesota. Great. His fo- his research has focused on bee lawns, grassy yards inter- interspersed with small flowers such as Dutch white clover, creeping thyme, self heal, ground plum, and dandelions. The yeah. flowers make an excellent source food source for the bees, while being cheap to plant and easy to maintain. Great. So, I mean, I think it's a good idea. I mean, sure, people no, that's need, cool. need to get over this perfect lawn crap. Absolutely. You know, and stop using Roundup and stop using any other toxins. I mean, you, you people do realize that there are like natural alternatives with all this toxic shit that they make, right? Absolutely, and stuff that like, works better. Yeah. It won't kill it you. It, it won't right. kill you. <laughs> exactly. And it like, won't kill the bees. Yeah, you know, I had some gift cards for Target yeah. that I got re- for Christmas, and I never really go shop at Target, but I did because I had to use the gift cards. And I'm like, well, I'll just go there and get it and use these gift cards up, right? So I'm there, and I'm in the aisle where they sh- they're selling the cleaning supplies. Right. And there's the brand called Method, which... Is it's a good brand, but it's it's a little bit more expensive, right? Yeah, yeah. So then I see that Target has a knockoff knockoff similar to the method using natural plant based things, and I, you know what I mean, right? And it's called Ever Spring, but it was on sale. It was like two dollars cheaper than the method stuff, right? So I'm sure. like, I'll try this. I'll just give it a shot. See how it works. It's got like lavender in it and some other stuff I'll get the bottle on break but um I Jackson like pee in the kitchen accidentally that's it was our fault because we didn't take it let him out soon enough you know right normally he's really good about that but 
we were being lazy or whatever, you know. Okay. Anyway, that happens once. Not very often, but, you know. Anyway, um, I go in there, and the pee's in there, so I wipe it up and everything, and I'm like, I'm going to try that, that new cleaning stuff I got, you know. Mm-hmm. I spray it down the floor. I wipe it up. Works really good. Smells awesome. Like, just smells nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So much better than those toxic cleaning shit they sell. You know what I mean? Right. And it works really good. So far, I'm 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 liking it. And I saved a couple bucks not buying buying the Method brand and doing like a little knockoff brand. Right. Which is the same stuff. Seriously, I compared ingredients. It's like the same shit. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying, in the future, going forward, I would look for alternatives to anything toxic um, out there. Because alternatives exist for everything, really. Well, yeah, alternatives. The the originals. Let's put it that way. Well, uh, ammonia and mixed with water is excellent for cleaning glass and windows. Vinegar sure. also is good for that. Vinegar is an amazing product. I mean, vinegar, I use vinegar in my laundry mm-hmm. because it, it cuts down on, you know, I have two boys here. And, you know, yeah, the laundry detergent works, but just a little extra, like, half cup of vinegar in every load, it seriously, it cuts set the smell of all your laundry down. Like, you will not, it smells so good. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, vinegar is awesome for cleaning, and it's cheap. I buy the brand, the Walmart Great Value brand vinegar at mm-hmm. Walmart, and right. it's like cheap. It's super cheap. It's like two thirty, a, a huge jug of it. You know what a, I mean? A gallon, right? Per gallon. Yeah, it's a gallon. It's it's huge jug. Yeah. Anyway, um, it works awesome for cleaning. Great. But I really do like the. Some people don't like that smell of vinegar. It doesn't bug me because it fades pretty fast. Okay. Like not no, you don't smell it on your clothes when you use it in your laundry. Yeah. But when you use it for cleaning your house, it smells like vinegar. You know sure, what I mean? Sure. So that's why some of these natural cleaning products that they have up there might be a better choice for someone yeah. that really does not want that smell of vinegar. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Even though it dissipates rapidly, you know. But like I said, I tried it. I was really impressed with it. Good. 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 Cool. Yeah. I'll get the bottle and I'll tell you exactly what's in it. But um, yeah, great. So <laughs> about the bee thing, I think it's awesome. I mean, that is that, that's that's really good. Yeah, that's really yeah, good. Oh, let so. me, I posted the link right. Yeah, I yeah, I got it. I got it. So. Uh, all right then. And then I have some other bookmarks here. What okay, well, I got this story just oh, just, go ahead. Yep. just just before the show started here. I I saw this link. Zero hedge. Suspended on Twitter. Wow. <laughs> so, so what, zero heads, really? Wow. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is uh, uh, first. It was Facebook, then all of New Zealand. Now Twitter has decided oh, yeah. to suspend zero hedge, just as in prior bans, which were eventually overturned. So in this case, it is unclear what prompted Twitter's abrupt censorship. The only notification we received from Twitter was the following. Your account, Zero Hedge, has been suspended for violating the Twitter rules. Specifically, for violating our rules against abuse and harassment. You may not engage in the targeted harassment of someone or incite other people to do so. This includes wishing or hoping that someone experiences physical harm. Uh, it is news to us that this website has ever engaged in targeted harassment of someone. What appears to have happened is that Twitter received a complaint from the website best known for publishing the discredited Steele dossier, and no, <laughs> and no other media outlet would touch it, and also for making cat slideshows, of course. Bu- BuzzFeed. In which someone called Ryan Broderick, uh, call, called Ryan Broderick, writes that Zero Hedge has released the personal information of a scientist from Wuhan, China, falsely accusing them of creating the coronavirus as a bioweapon in a plot it says is the real life version of the video game Resident Evil. 
<laughs> so Ryan Broderick tweeted, at the end of an article that included the scientist's name, photo, and email, and a phone number, Zero Hedge told the readers they should probably pay the Chinese scientist a visit. And then and then they laugh. Ha ha ha. Um, it says, uh, Broderick says, I reached out to Twitter for clarity on this, but it looks like Zero Hedge may have been suspended following my piece about them doxing a Chinese scientist and accusing him of weaponizing the coronavirus. Uh, a few points, a few points about the article that Buzz, that, re, that refer, referenced by BuzzFeed. Is this the man behind the global corona, uh, virus pandemic? Is, is, as the title implies, a question and one which considering the huge significance and life or death import of the coronavirus pandemic has to be answered especially since the establishment's foreign policy magazine writes Bat Soup, which is widely being cited and circulated by the mainstream press as a cause of the coronavirus breakout, is not the cause of the Wuhan virus. The widely read... What is then? It was created in a lab. Um, oh, that's right, yeah. The, the widely read website, health.com, also chimes in, no, coronavirus was not caused by bat soup. Meanwhile, Business Insider writes, experts think the Wuhan vi coronavirus jumped from bats to snakes to people. Seriously. Bats no, have, <laughs> no, bats no. have been the source of four pandemics. Which jumped is, from bats to snakes and then to people? Yes. That's, no. it, it's like, come no. off it. Who, who's buying that's this? ridiculous. Anyway, so considering that Peng Zhao, who currently works at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, is the leader of the bat virus infection and oh immunization group at the Institute, the question certainly is a reasonable one, and in a normal world, would demand an answer from the established media, assuming it wasn't afraid of risking uh, lucrative Chinese funding, instead of leaving it to fringe websites. The impetus to ask uh, the question if the disease originated at the Wuhan Institute of Virology is especially relevant in light of the social media reports, such as this one, which claims to have evidence here that the outbreak originated from the Wuhan P4 Research Institute. You need to find a truly patriotic journalist to publish it to the public. You can personally trust me to provide a complete chain, chain of evidence. Uh, thank you. Uh, anyway, it goes on, but uh, uh, basically, I, I, I don't know if at this point uh, Zero Hedge is still banned on Twitter or not, but wh what a bunch of nonsense um, Yeah. Uh, okay. for, for, for this to have happened. Uh, and and right. like they say, they, they had been banned prior on Facebook and That's ridiculous. Through, throughout New Zealand. And the problem, the, the, the deal is, is they, they publish a lot of truth. Um, over there on Zero Edge, and you know they're basically a financial website, but uh, they get into right. they get into the stuff, man. They, they don't they don't pull money punches. Now you know sometimes they have some guest posters over there that put up some nonsense, but uh, you know. Um, <laughs> so I, I read I read Zero Hedge all the time, uh, and uh, they they are you know it's one of my um, regular go to websites. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, you, so you had some other stories, or? Uh... Yeah, I have this one. Speaking of the coronavirus. All right. Which I was. Just, it just occurred to me that it's got to be an airborne virus. Uh, yeah. At this point, they say you know it, it transmits from person to person. So. Yeah, yeah. it's airborne. So, yeah. anyway, um, this is from DailyMail. dot com. Okay. And it's from January 28th, 2020. Um, my family is in lockdown in Wuhan. Wisconsin father begged U.S. State Department to let his wife, his five-year-old daughter, and his 10-month-old baby leave on the only evacuation flight out of a coronavirus-stricken city. Wisconsin father Samuel Roth took to Twitter Monday, pleading, my family is currently in lockdown in Wuhan. When will my wife and two daughters, one of whom is only 10 months, uh, old be offered seats on the chartered flight. You know, there's only so many seats on the plane, dude. Right. 
Right. I mean, unless you work for the State Department. No, no, no I heard, I heard, I heard they were, they were, they were uh, doing a second plane. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so. that's good. Um, because they turned down his plea. Apparently, the wife and daughters were over in China because she's Chinese, and they were visiting family, but they're United States citizens. Right. Um, I would be really worried too if I was this guy. I mean, it, it's not good what's going on. No matter where how it originated, it is happening. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's it is it, it makes you think. You know, I mean I my kids call me a germaphobe, which I just pretty much use common sense. I don't think it's being a germaphobe germaphobe would be um diligent with hand washing and that type of thing. Right, right. I don't think that's weird. No, that's being a germaphobe. Good. Yeah. I, I yeah. I mean I Depending on what what activity I'm doing, I may wash my hands several times during it. Well, yeah, me too. Like if you're cooking or you're, you know, yeah. whatever, you know. But like when I went to Walmart the other day, a couple of days, I don't know, last week or something. Mm-hmm. You know, you get your cart and you go up by the door. They put that those fucking hand the cart wipes like right by the fucking door. Like, right. where you go in, like, right. you know? Yeah. It's like, why don't you put them back a little bit so, you, you know, you're not blocking other people from getting in if they don't want to use the hand wipes, you know, the cart wipes. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, I use the cart wipes. I'm one of those people that uses the freaking cart wipes, right? Right. And so, there's this guy behind me, and I thought I was blocking them. I'm like, oh, you can go around me. He's like, oh, no, I'm waiting. I'm like, oh, the cart wipes? He's like, yeah, they're a must. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially with He's the- like... Well, yeah, because you don't want you don't know this snot rate kid or some gross fucking person that don't wash their hands good enough is t- you know is touching that cart, right? You know, and you should really you know wash the, wipe the whole thing down, you know. Sure. But the handles be especially the worst part of it, right? Yeah. So I like the hand wipes. I mean, uh, it's a good idea. Definitely. Yeah. So I I'm one of those people. The boys are like, oh, that's stupid, mom. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, talk to me when you're fucking get deathly ill sometime, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, if, I, if I'm out of place, if they have them there, I, I definitely use them. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. So I mean, especially those Walmart people. Those are. Well, weird. yeah, I mean, what you don't Ooh. know, <laughs> it's the people that come in there. Right, that's what I mean. You know, like they don't <laughs> wash their hands. They're coughing and sneezing on the goddamn cart. You yeah. know, and you're touching it with your hand. Then you have a, a something in your eye or something. You touch your eye, and now you're sick. You know, right, right. It's like it's a good idea to use the, the wipes. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. I think. Sure. So anyway, I feel bad for this dad. I mean, it's gonna. I hope the kids are okay and the wife is okay. Yeah, they should I mean, be. They're in Wuhan. They can't get out. They're not gonna. It sounds like if there's another plane, maybe they will. Right. Um, but what did they do with those people that they brought here? They put them in quarantine. Right. They quarantined them. Well, and what, and what I what I read about that was okay. They go into a three day quarantine. Right. Here and yeah, appara- okay. appara- apparently this uh, this Wuhan virus has a fourteen day incubation period. That's what I've heard. So um, I'm trying to do the math there, figure out how they. And, and that, that is created. <laughs> they 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 purposely made it be that long. <laughs> the the ones that created this goddamn thing, they made it be that long. Oh that sure, a long yeah. incubation period. Right. 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 They right. purposely did that. But, All right. But that how, was on but, purpose. I'm just saying that's not an accident. But but how do you take somebody that may possibly have been exposed to this and give them a three day quarantine? On something right, like, when on it's so- 14 days incubation, that doesn't make any fucking sense, people. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense right, at all. Right. Uh, they said, well, if they're showing any signs after three days, we'll hold them for 14 days. And I was like, okay, but they're not going to show signs if it, you know, if, if the incubation period is four days and they just got well, it. Well, some people might show up sooner, but, you know, it's like if, if it's 14 days, that's how long they have to be quarantined. Yeah. You would think. Wow. You would think. <laughs> wow. All right, you got a link wow. for that. You, you, got, you got a link for that story. Uh, the the Wisconsin father. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. Ragnarok. Ragnarok is interesting. You bet. Uh, oh, what's mean... this? And I clicked the wrong thing. Oh my god! Hang on. No, no, that was Rome's. That was Rome's. 
Uh, no, not 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 that. No. Why am I going to that now? It's I don't, looking, it's I don't know. I'm the wrong thing. I don't know. I, 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 oh. There we go. I I got it. I, I double clicked and it was fucking it up. Okay. There we go. All right. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I got something else from the band Zero Hedge site. Um, oh shit. <laughs> Which I, I came across today, and I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you guys serious about this? But apparently they are. CNN, you know CNN, right? Oh, yeah. CNN is angry that too many white people are trying to stop the coronavirus spreading. <laughs> now, you, I know, you would think, hey... This is the onion, or this is Babylon B, but no, right? <laughs> this is for real. <laughs> it's it? okay. okay. I'm glad you told us that. I'm glad. Okay, according according to CNN, the real concern about the coronavirus is not the potential for a global pandemic; it's the fact that there are too many white people trying to stop it. That was the message sent by an article posted on the News Network's website entitled Coronavirus Task Force, Another Example of Trump Administration's Lack of Diversity. It's all Trump's fault. Trump, he's the reason behind the coronavirus. The, 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 oh, man. The, 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 no, he's not. The two images illustrating the article uh, showed, oh, Barack, showed Barack Obama's circle of advisors during the 2017 Ebola outbreak and, Trump and, and President Trump's advisors during the recent meeting about the coronavirus outbreak. In the photographs showing Trump, advisors, most of them men, are, God forbid, white men. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Who are these experts, whined CNN's oh, Bradley, Bradley oh, Tensley? They're, they're largely the same sort of white men and a couple of women on the sidelines who've dominated the Trump administration from the beginning. Tensley called the image a statement that's as predictable as it is infuriating. President Donald Trump's administration lacks diversity. He concludes, complaining about how Trump values the opinions of mostly white men who are mirror images of himself, which eh, may or may not be true. Anyway, apparently wanting not to appear racist is more important than stopping a rapidly spreading global pandemic, which has now reached at least 23 <laughs> countries. Right. Oh. It, it, it is being a pandemic. This is yet another example of how diversity just means less white people. At its heart, it's flagrantly oh racist. My God. It, it is the flagrantly racist premise that people should not be judged on the content of their character, but on the color of their skin, and that people with white skin should be discriminated against. Now, this guy here over on the Twitter responded to this here. He says, when I lay dying of bat soup fever, I want to be able to say that the task force may have not been the most qualified, but God damn, they were a diverse bunch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> another another, another uh, person on there says, maybe when the goal is to protect the country against a deadly virus, there are more important things than the, than the race and genitals of the people in the room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And this is finally, this one guy says, I completely agree with you. A solution to any pandemic requires the input of non-binary people of color. Diversity of gender expression and skin color is the only way to crack major epidemiological challenges. What? Hey, he's, he's being a wise ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> he's, he's making fun of him. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, you can't make this shit up. Uh, you know, I, I really, I, I wish it was all a joke. That 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 people, I, and, and they're selling this to you know their forty five viewers. I don't, I don't think CNN has got many viewers left at this point. Um, so yeah, they're sell, they're, they're pushing this story out there to their forty five viewers. 
<laughs> like, seriously? Oh <laughs> Come on. They have more than that many viewers. Sorry, Grim. I know, I know, but <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, let's play some more jams here. All right, let's do that. And, uh, yeah, I think you'll like this set. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> You can't make this shit up, dude. Oh, man. I only, I only wish you could. I know. Crazy. Don't need to. Yeah. Oh, my God. This guy, this guy named Chuck. Chuck Berry? Oh, mm. Charlie Park. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's some funny stuff there, Rome. That was a Rome's request. The President of the United States of America with Kitty. <laughs> that was a funny-ass song. All right, now before that, for the Moose Girl, the Buddy Moose Girl, Billy Strings in Dust in a Baggy, yeah, 20 long years in the hole. And we kicked it off with another one for Moose there, Charlie Par, Par doing Old Dog Blue. Yes, thank uh, you. Yeah, good stuff. Good music. Very good. Uh huh. So, so yeah, I've decided this new headset rocks. All right, I'm glad to hear it. That and didn't for take $20, long. dollars. I mean, seriously. What? I, 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 that, that didn't take long for you to decide. No, it didn't. I yeah. mean, for twenty bucks, these are noise canceling. My other ones were not. Right. These have like the bigger headphone on it you know oh yeah bigger cushion and everything so that's why they're noise canceling because they like suck to your head you know it's yeah. not hard though i mean they're no, just no. they just like sit there right my head my head my head's got to be quite bigger than yours and and they, they they're very comfortable on me oh yeah these are really way more comfortable than my other headset so. my other head, headset can fuck the fuck off okay <laughs> that's what i'm saying and it heard me I said it loud enough for it to hear me, so... Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's good. I'm glad, because... Uh, and by by the way, when you... when you, uh, uh, You'll you hear some surround town type stuff going on in there, and you go... Uh-huh. And you're going to go, what okay. the hell? Wow. Right. Cause, cause oh, you'll, yeah. <laughs> you'll, 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 be, you'll be looking around the room like, where'd that sound come from? Right. Yeah, I'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, I've been really pleased with them. So uh, yeah, no, I'm happy you you know told me about them because they're great. Right, right. They were in my cart, and I picked. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I have like fifty bucks of items in my cart, so like I went and archived a bunch of them mm -hmm. and just got like the headset. It's like eyeliner. So seriously, um, it really uh, was. A, it's a slick thing. Yeah, yeah. And and it got delivered on a freaking Sunday. Oh, wow. By USPS. I was like, okay, I was okay. not expecting that on a Sunday. I didn't, I didn't even know they did Sundays. Uh, apparently, well, they have, like, trucks. It wasn't the regular postman. Yeah. It was the ones that drive, like, the UPS-style U um, USPS trucks, the bigger mm -hmm. trucks. You know, they're the same size as UPS trucks. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they do have a separate, besides their carriers, their street carriers or whatever, they have, you know, the delivery drivers, I guess, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know this, but apparently, Winona, Minnesota, which is where I go every year for uh, Boats and Bluegrass okay. Festival. All right. Is going to be featured in a Super Bowl ad starring, guess who? Uh, Winona Ryder. You're right. <laughs> really? Did you know this? Yeah. Did you know this? No, I did Before? not. Okay. No, seriously. <laughs> she got her name based on, from Winona. Her parents named her after Winona, Minnesota. Oh, okay. So she is going to be, the, the, there's a, there's a, um, a commercial featuring Winona Ryder. Right. It's going to be featured in the Super Bowl ad or Super Bowl commercials, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to like the YouTube video. It's the whole extended version of the commercial. Right there. Okay, okay. Anyway, we might want to watch it ahead of time just to get it, you know, I'll be like, hey, I saw it. You know, 
even though they are um, leaking all these commercials ahead of time. You yeah, know, yeah. It's not a big deal. It's not a big secret, really. Go, they go, can't keep go, the secret. Go, right? go ahead and do a request on it. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, do. yeah. I, w- I would have figured she would have been from Winona, Arizona. Is there such a talent? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Winona, Minnesota is where, how she got her name. I don't think she's from there. All right, all right. Not necessarily, but um, I wish I could find the <laughs> the original link where I got it from. I think it was uh, a news station. Yeah. Anyway, you, you, um, you know that you know that uh, Eagles song, "Take It Easy." Yeah. Yeah, they mentioned when they mentioned when. when no, I mean, oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Tucson, Arizona. Oh, how does it go again? I don't know. Oh I, come on! I, I don't know how it goes. It's also in that that other song. I've been everywhere. Winona, yep. Oh yeah. I've been everywhere, man. Yep. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think okay. it's awesome. Oh, that's, I that's mean, good. Apparently, that's the funny. the people of Winona are have mixed emotions about the commercial. I have not watched the commercial yet, yeah. so I'm not sure. But as far as Winona goes, it yeah. is a kick-ass sound. It's really cool. Right. It's like this old retro. It's 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 hard to explain. Well, hell, it, have... it reminds me a lot of Eau Claire. You know, the river it, town. If they have boats and bluegrass there, how bad could they be? Exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I mean, well, I went there one year for boats and bluegrass. It was like a Saturday. I left the campground. I went driving around with Nona. I went in this older part of town. There's all these like older homes, like from the 70s and 60s. I'm like, oh my god, this is like retro. Like yeah. I felt like I was going back in time. <laughs> like this is like where I grew up. This, this looks like where I grew up. <laughs> it's really, really weird. Right, right. But it's a cool town. It's it's not a huge town. It's a river town. It's a cool town. I, I really like Winona. Like I could actually seriously probably live in Winona. Okay. It's a cool town. Yeah. So then, then you wouldn't have to drive the boat to Lugas. Right. No, <laughs> true. I would just be right there. I'd be like, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I oh, Blue Ox is in Eau Claire. I live in Eau Claire. Yeah, like, yeah. people at Blue Ox always ask me, where do you live? Where are you from? I'm like, Eau Claire. <laughs> They're like, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, right here. Now, this, I'm like, yeah, this is my backyard. That's what I say. You know, they, they're like, if a stranger says, where are you from? I'm like, Eau Claire. Oh, cool. I'm like, yeah, this is my backyard, basically. Sure, sure, sure. Welcome to my party. <laughs> <laughs> It is seriously kind of like my party, though. Yeah. Because I know of Hurt Near Samstone. I've been watching them since they freaking started. They're, right. They're the ones that started Blue Ox. They're the ones that play two sets every every year at Blue Ox. Uh-huh. I mean, they know who I am personally. I know who they are personally. So basically, it is like my party. There you go. Kind of. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm I'm in the inn. I'm in the inn. In the inn. On the, you're, in you're, you're, you're an insider. I'm an insider, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the know, in the know. In All the right. know. Well, howdy to Hans and Flash joining us. Yes, hello. Did somebody else sneak in that I missed? I think it was just those I'm two. Not sure. I think it was just I'm those sure. two coming in. So anyway, howdy to y'all. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Since we're talking zero heads, let's do another zero head story I came okay, across. Might as well. I came across yesterday. Since they're banned from Twitter. It's all like, right. what? Uh, how does that happen? Yeah. What, what the fuck? That's, this is not right. This is not right, people. Ridiculous. There's Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Zero Hedge was bad from Twitter. Yep. Zero Hedge is a very reputable news site. Yeah. All right. So Matt's just like giving me the, the stink eye. Like, you don't know. You don't know, dude. Well, we do you know, know because I, 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 shared, I shared the story with you. So There's I, Mike. We, we do. Hey, Mike. All right. So uh, here, here's the story from okay. yesterday. All right. Are Virginia politicians so fragile they'd pass a bill making it illegal to criticize them? What? <laughs> no, see, that's bullshit. So the answer is obviously, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Really? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's bullshit. That's ridiculous. So it says, there's a very good reason that Virginia wants to disarm civilians with a rash of new unconstitutional laws. That's because they seem to be modeling themselves after one of those countries where the government cannot be publicly criticized without great risk to the critic. 
Yet another new bill is on the table, and this one criminalizes criticism of certain government officials. Welcome to the Fourth Reich, people. The, the I've been saying this for over ten years. Yeah. The, the summary of HB 1627, proposed by Delegate Jeffrey M. Bourne, reads, uh, Threats and harassment of certain officials in property venue provides that certain crimes relating to threats and harassment may be prosecuted in the oh city of God. in the city of Richmond if the victim is the governor, governor elect, lieutenant governor, oh my freaking God, lieutenant governor elect, attorney general, or attorney general elect, a member or employee of the general assembly, a justice of the Supreme Court of Virginia, or a judge of the Court of Appeals of Virginia. In addition, threats to damage uh, property may be prosecuted in the city of Richmond if the property is owned by the Commonwealth and located in the Capital District. Oh, muffin. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> have people, have the people you're oppressing been hurting your feelings? Oh my God! Then by you all have means, to be kidding me. <laughs> then by all means, while you actively try to dismantle the, sec oh the Second Amendment, you should pass another un un unconstitutional oh law to attack the First Amendment. Ugh. It's sort of like declar Unreal. declaring a state of emergency and calling gun owners white supremacists because you know you pushed them too hard, and now you're scared, but longer lasting. It's also like communist China, where critics can end up vanishing into labor camp or watch their entire family be arrested. Or Thailand, where the les majeste laws mean that a critic can be imprisoned for 3 to 15 years per count for any hurtful words about the king. What constitutes threats or harassment? What exactly do the words threats and harassment mean in the terms of this bill? I'm glad you asked. If you look at some of the other codes that have been previously passed in Virginia Stan, you'll you'll see that it can be something as simple as foul language. Paul Palumbo wrote, The bar for harassment is already low as vulgar language in Virginia's code. If any person with intent to coerce, intimidate, harass, any person shall use a computer or a computer network to communicate obscene, vulgar, profane, lewd... Oh, my freaking God. <laughs> this is the Fourth Reich, people. Lewd, levicious, like or... like Nazi in, Germany, okay? Or in... like Nazi fucking Germany. Or indecent language, or make any suggestion... Oh, my God. Or, shut the fuck up. No, seriously. No, I gotta they finish. They need to shut the fuck up. I they got... do. They need to fucking get over their shit and shut the fuck up. Or or make any suggestion. Oh my god, this is just in me off. <laughs> I I, 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 I knew it happy. would. Or make any suggestion <laughs> or proposal of an obscene nature, or threaten any illegal or immoral. Oh my freaking act, god! He shall be guilty of a class one misdemeanor. Basically, it means don't fucking speak. Uh, Bourne's bill pr pr proposes adding the following amendment. Oh my god. A violation of this section may be prosecuted in the jurisdiction in which the communication was made or received or in the city of Richmond if the person subjected to the act is one of the following officials. And it lists all those same, ooh, high government officials. They are, they are above, my head. I can't they are read. above, I'm like, what? <laughs> they are above criticism. It's, it's insane. Um, fuck that. They're it, not above it. Oh, my. <laughs> they, they are not special. Their shit fucking stinks, just like everybody else's shit. And oh. they're lawbreakers, too. So don't be thinking that these people fucking are perfect or something, or some people to look up to. Okay. Because they're definitely not. <laughs> it, it goes on here to say, Oh, it, my God. It's insane that a bill defining harassment is so vaguely is already on the books in Virginia, and it's even more insane that someone is proposing expanding it so that politicians can legally intimidate their detractors with ease. Do that! <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, you know, they, they, so when Zero Hedge posts information like this, oh, but this is, by the way, it was posted up here by Daisy Luther uh, of uh, uh, the Organic Prepper blog. Um, so, uh, 
Yeah. Thanks, Daisy, for that. Um, <laughs> is, wow. is it, okay. Is, 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 it, is it any wonder that uh, the establishment types hate Zero Hedge? <laughs> uh, no, it is not. Fuck them. Fuck you, establishment fucking types. Fuck you. Well, Fuck that, you. That, that's part of the vague, uh, uh, the vague definitions there, Mike. Uh, what's immoral? Yeah. What's, in, what's indecent? Yeah, who decides What's that? indecent? What, there, yeah, well, well, come I, on. I, 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 I mean, this whole thing, it's just like uh, total insanity that, uh, that they can get away uh, with, with this kind of stuff. But, yeah. Uh, and this, this okay. bill, this bill, by the way, it's not passed yet. It's not passed yet. I hope it doesn't pass. But these these are the same people passing the bills to steal people's guns, so... Uh, this is ridiculous. Don't fall for it, people. <laughs> Do not comply. Do not comply. Yeah, I think everybody in, okay. Virgi every, everybody in Virginia there needs to start... They're cutting up, dude. You start, don't think Virginians got guns? They every, love guns down there. Everybody in Virginia... They love guns in Virginia. Everybody they in got fucking more fucking guns down there, <laughs> and they're not going to give them up. Right. They're not. And everybody, so, everybody, try, butt fuckers, butt fuckers. Every, everybody in Virginia needs to start cussing out all of their these uh, whatever you call them, politicians. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cuss them, yeah. Cuss them uh, all out. No, the Tell Second Amendment is one of the main things of this country. Right. Oh, and by the way, and I don't know if you they're heard. They're not getting rid of it. People uh, aren't going to put up with this shit. They're uh, not. They're uh, just not. <laughs> I, I don't know if you heard this, and I, and I, and I don't know. Uh, what rel what uh, truth there is to it, but um, apparently West Virginia has has plans to annex all the all the sanctuary Second Amendment sanctuary counties in Virginia. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Well, that means that okay, Virginia they doesn't. Oh yeah, they're they're, 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 they're saying Virginia Vir Vir Virginia don't want you to have guns. Well, we'll they're just make down. we'll just we'll just make you part of West Virginia. We love guns over here in West Virginia. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Actually. It's hilarious. It's okay, like... so here, in, along those lines. All right. Seriously. Okay. This is from January 29th, 2020, from the dot com. Uh huh. The headline is Can't Make This Up. <clears throat> New York State is now mandating stargazing permits for looking at the sky. Oh, yeah, I heard that. I saw that somewhere. Okay. That's right. The state of New York is now demanding us peasants give them money so we can look up at the sky. Yeah. This is a totally a real thing, as it shows up on the state's permitting for parks, recreation, historic preservation schedule. Yeah. Quote, unquote, stargazing permit. Requirements. Fee of $35. 60 if you're out of state. Vehicle and registration and driver's license required. <laughs> Anybody that fucking signs up for this guy that, that permit is a fucking moron. Okay? They're telling you you gotta pay money to look at the goddamn sky. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Uh, Are you fucking kidding me? I wish. Oh, and they tell you where you have to be to do these things. Yeah. You can't just be anywhere. <laughs> no. You have to be in these certain designated areas. To view the skies at the sky at night, apparently. Right. This yeah. is ridiculous. <laughs> this actually made me laugh. And at first I thought, there's no way that can be real. But it is. And then I looked into it, and I'm like, <laughs> no, they're really fucking fuck not fucking around with this. They're really trying to do this. Right. Who? Okay, for one thing, how can you enforce this? You're going to go around arresting people that are looking up at the sky while they're... Some dude's out there taking a piss. He's looking up <laughs> in the night sky. Dude, you can't oh, stargaze here. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of all man. the motherfucking idiotic goddamn things I've ever fucking heard. I mean, seriously. This one is awesome. This is awesome. This is yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> oh my god oh. are you for real right now like I laughed I am still laughing <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do a request you have to request it well let's not 
just let's not let's not uh, try. And oh, get, you love John. Tennyson. Let's not try and get that. Let's not try and get that requested. <laughs> Oh, All right, where, where, come on. Where, where's your link to it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's 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 keep that All one. All right, we won't. We don't have to play that one. But, Sorry, uh, Mike. That is one of my favorite songs, though. I'm just like you know, it is one of my favorite songs. It is my son Matt's favorite song. Well, but, but that's an and audio. Matt was see, born in 2000. See, I that's mean, that, that's not that's not even that's not even a, a video. It's just an audio. Oh, okay. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's okay, let's let's not say we did. Okay. Anyway, okay, we played uh, it. We speaking, played it. What? We have played it. He has played it for me. Sure. Uh, on occasion. Anyway, uh, warmer temps and ice jams are causing flooding concerns along the Mississippi River. Speaking of Winona, uh huh, we're expected to get warmer temperatures this weekend, and this is causing flooding concerns. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is keeping a close eye on the Mississippi River as ice jams between Winona and the Iowa border could lead to flooding. Ah. State hydrologists said the river is running at sustained levels they've never, they've never seen in January. And that's got them watching for what it could mean this spring. Uh, blah, blah, blah. In, in Coon Rapids two weeks ago, an ice jam caused the river to overflow its banks, flooding a parking lot, and then freezing vehicles in. <laughs> it, 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 that would suck. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I can't get to work today. Why not? My vehicle is frozen. I can't move it. It's yeah. frozen to the ground. It's stuck in ice, which does happen in Minnesota, Wisconsin. This is like, sure. they'd be like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that happened to my cousin, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. See, I can really do the Minnesota Fargo-type accent. When I really want to. Yeah, you do it when you don't want to. I do. I do it sometimes, not knowing, not realizing how bad I am being. I know. <laughs> it's a natural thing. It you know? is a natural thing. It is a natural thing. But I can really lay it on thick, or you know, when I want to. Yeah. If I want to, but I, I don't. I don't really like to because it ends up sounding like Oli and Lena jokes. A what now? Me. Like an Oli and Lena joke. I don't know what that is. This is something you've done. Okay. I can tell you're a Cali boy now. <laughs> Ole Alina jokes. I'm going to look this up on the break. All right. I will tell you some Ole Alina jokes when, I get, when we get back from break. Okay. When we take the break. Because I have, this is, you know, this is an um, impromptu deal here. I, I, you know, you've you got to hear Ole Alina jokes. You haven't lived, Grim, until you've heard Ole Alina jokes. Uh, okay. Okay. Is anyone out there? Anyone? Ole Alina jokes? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Bueller. Crickets. Anyone? All right. <laughs> no one. Wow. All right. Okay. Okay, this this well, next... you guys are all in for a treat, apparently. This this, this next this next story is <laughs> this next story is serious, serious real news. Real news. Okay. Like R E E L or R E A L? Whatever whatever you prefer. Okay. Coronavirus. Polling higher than all presidential candidates. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> it, says, it, says, it says there's been there's been a major shakeup in the Democratic primaries as the 2019 NCOV strain of coronavirus is now polling higher than all candidates for president in national polls. The virus being praised for its promises to deliver people from the agony of existential dread of living in an increasingly outraged and polarized America. Come, sweet death, said one man in Texas when asked who he had, who had his support in 2020. I was a Trump man through and through, but uh, now I'm all in for the coronavirus. Bernie Sanders would just uh, just throw uh, throw my political fo foes in gulags, but coronavirus will kill them," said former Sanders campaign staffer in Portland. "I mean, it might kill me too, but it's all worth it <laughs> to own the capitalists." Uh, while many while many presidential candidates' policies have been criticized for being unworkable. Coronavirus is very effective at what it does. It works hard. It never sleeps. And it hates everyone instead of just some people. It just, it plans also, uh, don't cost any money. It will never 
give annoying, sanctimonious speeches, and it doesn't have a hard to, uh, hard to pronounce name. I commit here and now to bring all Americans eternal rest, said Coronavirus in its campaign announcement speech. You'll no longer have to worry about health care, the national debt, or the economy since you'll be dead. Elizabeth Warren has condemned coronavirus, saying the virus told her in secret that a human could never get elected. Uh, what? That a, a human could never get elected president. I'm not sure what she means by that. <laughs> anyway, 20, coronavirus 2020. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I mean, it seriously is kind of scary a little bit, though. I mean, if it's airborne, it's man-made, you know. And they're all about population control. We've been talking about that for years. I mean, it's seriously kind of worrisome. Yeah, I mean, well. I'm not going to lie to you. No matter what create, I mean, everyone's up in arms of how, what started it. That's not the main concern right now. It is really not. The main concern is, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You know, what, we got to walk around with masks now all the time now and everything? I mean, not that that even works. Does that work? Well, I... I, I you know, does a mask even fucking... What good does that do? You know, I mean, seriously. I mean, when you're out in public, I can see the mask being... You know, but seriously, does the mask fill... I mean, you got to get one with a huge filter on there or something. These little paper ones that they wear, that doesn't fucking do shit. I'm right. sorry, those paper masks, they might do a little bit of help, but if this thing's as bad as they're saying, then little paper masks ain't going to do shit. You better <laughs> off not even having one on. All right, well, I'm getting it up on the screen here. Um, okay, the, these are some of the newer masks that they have out there. Uh <laughs> yeah, the 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 fruit mask, the, yeah, the lettuce the, mask. Yeah, great. Yeah, okay. You got, you got the grapefruit, and, the grapefruit, and, and yeah. you got the cabbage. I guess that's I meant might be lettuce. I don't know if it's cabbage, lettuce. There. Um, <laughs> so those, those are some good masks. And then you got the uh, the the jug of water, the 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 sparkless jug mask with a couple of Pepsi things I yeah, added to you it. Can't, Okay, how do you breathe in that thing? Well, see, there, I mean, he must have he must have holes in here because he's got like the, the right. But that's the, that's the, not going to do you any good, the, the, buddy. The, the, that's the, fucking <laughs> that's a pathetic attempt at fucking trying to be funny or something. He's got that's the he's even. got the fil the, This guy's breathing uh, or a woman's breathing. That's not even going to work. There. Breathing, breathing through uh, what do you call that? A uh, uh, maxi pad. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. And, and, yeah. This, and this guy on the other side. Now, here, hey, the maxi pad one makes sense because that's one of those like fucking simple paper ones. Yeah. Like the maxi pad might actually block more of the thing. You know. Okay. This guy's breathing. Oh. This guy on this side, he's breathing through a bra. Through the bra. <laughs> that's gonna kill you because you can't breathe properly through that. Fabric. This is Unless really. This, this is really my favorite though. The uh, the jug around head. the ears. The, the the jug head one, you know. Yeah, the jughead. That's uh, just like the Coke one, though. That's yeah, I know, but one. but I, I dig it. You know, it looks it's so space age. Yeah, but you can't. It's plastic, <laughs> people. All right. You can't. Re oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Then you got these these two uh, breathing through. I guess it's a grapefruit. Um, it was stripped, uh, strapped around their ears there. Yeah. <laughs> Great grapefruit. So grapefruit wow. day. Uh, this guy. I don't know what he's got going on here. He's got tin foil and plastic <laughs> and some kind of filter thing. This woman. Wow! See, uh, he's gonna die because you can't breathe through what his apparatus. Well, I don't know what that thing is that he's breathing through. Yeah, that through could this. be some kind of filter yeah. or something. Yeah, this, this woman. Uh, you tell me. Um. <laughs> no clue. No idea what the fuck that is. I have no <laughs> and fucking clue and, and what the fuck. Here's a, here's a kid totally zipped it up in a... It looks like there's a cat in there. Here's, here's a kid totally zipped up in a plastic bag. Okay, the uh, kid's going to die. <laughs> right. The kid's dead because if he's in there longer than five minutes, he can't breathe, he'll be dead. <laughs> so, so, oh, my fucking God, people. Here's a, here's another jug head. Um, <laughs> which, again, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really... You can't Oh my God! Uh, the okay, are. here's some people. This one it doesn't even really cover her mouth or her, her nose. 
Uh, and she's got like a, a rubber band holding it there, and here's a little kid with kind of the uh, orange and a lemon. Oh my god! Try try and breathe through an orange and a lemon. Uh, right? Uh, no, not happening. <laughs> you guys are really dumb. And this one, you know, it doesn't. Uh, oh my god! Plastic? You can't! Oh my god! <laughs> More people are gonna die for the goddamn! <coughs> oh my god! Yeah, here's the guy. Put a plastic bag over our head. Here's the guy in the Chinese quickie mart. There. Oh, uh, let's the, put a plastic bag over our head and try to breathe through it. <laughs> a jug. A spark, yeah. Okay. Spark, spark, or a jug, jug. Right. You know. Okay. Now these two, they're breathing through t-shirts. I think these are t-shirts that get wrapped around. These have to be a whole scrim. These gotta be. Well, well, people are having parody. one. Some people this are. This is a parody. Some, some, some people have a little fun, but they're actually wearing them. They're going about doing them. You know, maybe it's uh, better than. Uh, you maybe know, uh, be- better than better than nothing, but uh, uh, this, yeah, maybe. This, this I, guy, I guess the orange thing might be the vitamin C. Even grapefruit's rich in vitamin C. Uh, this guy wore a motorcycle helmet on his flight. Uh, wow! From Shanghai to Perth. That's actually not a bad idea. Man. This guy has got like a mask and goggles, so that's all right. Or girl. I yeah, can't, I can't tell uh, what it is here. So I mean, it's just. It's like out of something out of a sci-fi <laughs> fucking movie. Yeah. Don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, Day of the Dead kind of stuff or something, you know. Yeah, this is definitely like, wow. <laughs> but there's just so, oh, oh, yeah, this is great. For your kids, for your doggies. Yeah, do, do, poochie. What? Oh, you'll see it in a second. All the dogs, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. now there's, they want you to put these things on your pets, too, because the pets can get it. Well, the, you know, you, I mean, they, they're really worried, you guys. I they, think this was released they, into the world. They, they make them for dogs, so you might know. It's right, a, it, this it, was released to the world, you guys. It's, it's the a, man-made fucking virus. The online seller uh, of these these dog masks is selling ten times the number of special dog masks every wow. day. Wow, have you ten. guys seen that movie, Pandemic? I've seen various pandemic movies, but. Uh, are you talking about the one that is in a apartment and they're sealed in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. And then what other ones are you talk, talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's been a there's been yeah, several. There, there's several called pandemic. Yeah. I mean, there's they're a new based on that concept anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so this article uh, was posted up on uh, uh, on uh, the Daily Mail. Uh, it says, a grapefruit a day keeps the coronavirus away. Desperate Chinese resort to using fruit and bras as face masks, while pranksters mock the crisis with other hilarious alternatives. Yeah, pranksters, <laughs> that's what I thought, yeah. But, well, some of those are real, though. So, the, you know, well, the, yeah, them, for them, sure, them, some of them are real, those, oh, yeah. Those, those people putting the fruit on their faces, or some of those people with the grapefruits on their faces, actually believe that this is going to help them. So, and, and, you know, maybe it, who knows, maybe the uh, acidic acid, uh, or the, what do you call it, the uh, citric acid, um, <laughs> pre- prevents some of that, that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. So there you go with the uh, link to that article if you're interested in it. Because the, the, the photos, I, I mean... Really, Daily Mail, they they do some great photos, essays. They um, do. I mean, they, they do. I, people are like, oh, that's the mainstream media, blah, blah. I'm like, they have reporters on every corner of this planet right now. They seriously, they get the pictures, they get, they can do stuff like those, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they're not exactly, they are mainstream media, I guess. Well, right? yeah, a lot of their, a lot of their content, the text, you know, the right, stories is, are, is non, mainstream are nonsense. Or fluff. Yeah, the, the, not meaning, meaning it's nonsensical stuff. Most of it. Yeah, but they do get like the breaking stories, and they get great they photos. They get the pictures. You know? that, they that, do. They get the pictures. They get more great photos. Well, uh, uh, there's another one out of Boston that does pretty good too. But uh, you know. right, but I mean, they they have people all over the globe. Yeah, Daily yeah. Mail. They do. So, all right, let's have, hear some more music here. All right, let's do that. All right, we're going to kick it off with the Hansel request here. Uh oh. Well, is it Ramstein? It is not Ramstein. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's, um, I don't know who this is, actually. 
Okay, Bear, okay, we could be in for something. Bear McCreary for featuring Serge Tankian. That sounds scary. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's Godzilla. We'll find out. It's Gooberzilla. Gooberzilla. <laughs> Yeah! Let it roll, baby, roll! The Doors, Roadhouse Blues there, man, back in 1970. Amazing stuff. Uh, before that, Audio Slave uh, with a song called Revelations that they put out about, oh, 11 years ago. Uh, 10, yeah, a little over 10 years ago. Audio Slave, Revelations, good stuff, man. That's, I, I dig that, Audio Slave. And we kicked it off there with a also request, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, uh, by some guy named Serge Tank Tankian, Serge Tankian, uh, there, and uh, Bear McCreary. Uh, so, <laughs> it was different, it was different, man. I, I, I didn't mind it. Uh, it, it was, uh, it's certainly not what I'm... It made Rome's ears bleed. Yeah, it's certainly not what I'm used to hearing, you know. Uh, I, I like Buck Dharma. I like Eric Bloom. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a trip. <laughs> oh, God. So that's all right, though. It was, uh, I, 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 I didn't really mind it. Um, it's uh, just not what I'm used to. <laughs> so thank you for that request there Han I just want to say one thing really quick okay um, I just want to say R.I.P. to Kobe Bryant his daughter Gianna and all the people that were on that, that helicopter that crashed well you know and to other people that have lost loved ones throughout the world I mean okay, okay. yes this was a high profile thing but you know death Sudden death like this sucks for everybody when it happens, and I know that you know the reason why this got so much coverage is because Kobe Bryant was a famous person. But and it, you know, it, it 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 didn't bother you that Kobe Bryant is a rapist. Or um, that was never proven. For oh well, time. he admitted to it. There was an article. He well, admitted. he did have. They had sex. <laughs> True. Uh, uh, yeah. He admitted to that. Uh, but I, I also, guess if you call rape sex, then yeah. When you're when you are a famous person, you run the risk of being ta being exploited and taken advantage of because you have a lot of fucking money, and people will do a lot of shit for money, dude. Yeah, I'm just saying, it was never proven the charges were dropped. Well, was, she dropped the charges because they settled out of court. Right. See, he paid her off. Well, you know. I, I, I'm not convinced of the whole thing. I don't even want to make it about that, but... Um, okay. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. Uh, uh, all these people are lionizing the guy now that he's dead. And uh, it was like, really? I'm just, my point is, it was really never proven whether or not it was officially rape or not. Okay? All right. That's, all right. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, a lot of famous people, it can happen where... They they blame you for something when you didn't really do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it does happen. I, I'm not justifying anything. I'm just saying, um, the biggest the biggest thing that got me as far as that 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 specific one went was the three teenage girls that were on on the helicopter. I mean, yeah, everyone was oh, speaking yeah. about Kobe Bryant, which was great, but he was 41. Those right. three, those three young girls were like thirteen. Oh, oh yeah, he had a great I mean, life, you know. Prior to prior yeah, to you know, that, so. I mean, he had a great life. He, you know, it's those three girls that I'm, I'm, I'm most fucked up about. You right. know, no, 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 and that's good. And you know, one none, was his daughter, but uh, she no, was thirteen. No, none of those, you know? none of those people, um, none of those people, you know. Should have died. I, it was. It was sad. Right. It was. It's. It, it, whenever anything like this happens, I mean, it's the same manner of death as Stevie Ray Vaughan. I mean, you know, when you try to, you know, shit can happen. Accidents happen. It's just oh, the yeah. fact of life. You know. Sure. But um, I just wanted to say that. So All right. Not to dwell on that. Okay. 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 Let's move on. All right. Well, here we go. Now I I don't know if you remember, but it's been it's been maybe a month or two months since I talked about a story where there were some vegans that were suing Burger King because on the same on the Ugh. same the same grill 
where they cooked their... Oh, their, my God. Uh, the, same, the same grill where they cooked their Impossible Whopper, which is the wow. fake meat bullshit. Um, oh, my God. Uh, plant, plant-based plant meat, which is not meat. Um, this is the problem. Okay, okay. You know, then, now they have to have two grills, No, right? the, Well, no, they, they don't. Burger King okay. came out with this statement here. Burger King says it never promised Impossible Whoppers were vegan. Okay. <laughs> said Burger King said it never billed its Impossible Whoppers as vegan or promised to cook them in a particular way, said a proposed class action by a vegan customer over the plant-based patties being cooked on the same grills as real meat. Uh, and <laughs> so so they say that, that needs to be thrown out. This lawsuit is just nonsense. So in the court filing on yesterday, Burger King said plaintiff Philip Williams, a little pussy-ass whiner, uh, should have asked how impossible Whoppers were cooked before ordering one that he said was cooked or coated in meat byproducts at an Atlanta drive-thru. Uh, Burger King said reasonable customers would ask about his cooking methods, and Williams would have known he could request an alternative method had he done even the smallest amount of investigation on its website by or by reading media reports. Williams assumed that the Impossible Whopper would satisfy his own particularly strict form of veganism solely because he asked Burger King restaurant employee to hold the mayo, uh, which I, I guess mayo's got eggs in it, right? All right, which is not, yes. which is not allowed under vegan strictness. Uh, oh, fuck them vegan. I'm sorry, but fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck Bur you, vegan. Bur no, what do you eat? All you eat is fucking what? Lettuce? I don't know. They look sickly. How do you even live? How do you even vegan, survive? Ve vegans fuck are the, sick, the, 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 the most sickly looking people oh, there are. Zero, perf zero percent body fat looks like shit. Uh, hey, you look like a fucking skeleton. Yeah, you look right? horrible. You look like you need to fucking eat something. Pallid and shallow. I mean, come on. Or fallow. Get, get over it. <laughs> and all these people that think, oh, hunting so terrible. Fuck you. You know, I mean, yeah. So the inhumane hunting practices are terrible. I am not for that. I am the kind of hunter, if I was one, I would do it right. I wouldn't go randomly fucking kill shit just because, just to kill something. I'm going to die in the woods. Yeah. I'm not that kind of person. I could never fucking do that. Right, right. All right? So for you, all you vegans, to lump all us, the rest of us in the same group, it's ridiculous. You guys yeah. are fucking insane. You are. Okay? You're fucking stupid. You have tunnel vision, and you, you want everybody to what? Bow to you? No, uh, it's the yes, other they way do. around, bitch. <laughs> yes, they do. Anyway, Burger King said this claim has no basis. Lawyers for Williams did not respond right. today for request. You're not, you, not going to go against comments. Burger King and win. They're a huge corporation. They're owned by a huge corporation. Uh, but, but listen, listen to this asshole. He says Williams claimed in his November 18th lawsuit, Miami Federal Court, that Burger King had duped him into buying the Impossible Whopper at a premium price and seeking damages on behalf of all U.S. customers who bought it. He was duped into eating something. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, for one thing, why are you even eating at Burger King, you bitch? Yeah, absolutely. You vegans should be totally anti-fast food. It goes against everything that you supposedly stand for. Right. There's no way you guys should be eating at Burger King to begin with. So get get out of fucking Burger King. Your problem is solved. And the, and the, I promote Burger King because Burger King is shit food. And, yes, and, I agree with that too. But you know, get your ass on a fucking Burger King hunt. And you know? and also the the company that makes the fake meat, Impossible Foods. Um, oh my God! Said it's too far. It's too out of control. They 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 say that this was designed for meat eaters who want to consume less animal protein, not not for not vegans. vegans. Right, or or even for vegetarians. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> so, oh my uh, God, they're getting their panties. Anything they, any chance they can get to get their their voices heard. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'll get our panties in the wad. It's okay. like really, you're gonna go against Burger King, that is owned by a huge corporation. You're not gonna fucking win. You no, are it's not gonna it's, win. It, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It is. It's stupid. Anyway, so moving on. <laughs> I forget who posted this article yesterday, but it cracked me up over there in the, in the chat room. 
This is posted up on uh, Nijatal.com. I can't remember. N-A-I-J-A-T-E-L-L.com. Chinese authorities seized 12 tons of beaver penises smuggled from Canada. The Chinese Chinese authorities seized 12 tons of beaver penises smuggled from Canada. 12 tons. Oh, my God. 12 tons. Four beavers. 12 tons of beaver penises. Uh, (laughs) Chinese customs officers seized over 12 tons. That is disgusting. How does this happen? Uh, they seized over 12 tons of illegally trafficked oh my God. beaver genitals in the country's biggest ever smuggling case involving animal Holy parts. Shit. A total of 94 bags holding thousands of penises each were seized on board a Canadian ship transporting most wood products uh, <laughs> and minerals. <laughs> Approximately 400,000 to 600,000 beavers must have been killed to produce the 12.7 tons of penises. According to the state media, beaver penises are used in traditional Chinese medicine to cure erectile dysfunction and increase sexual vigor. Well, obviously not for the beavers. Um, the, The Chinese General Administration of Customs gave a long press conference this morning to justify why it seized that many Chinese, or what many Chinese perceive as legitimate medicine. It's probably enough medicine to give an entire generation some erections worthy of bulls, but it comes from shady sources and could also be dangerous. <laughs> Based upon reported black market prices for the scales, the customs agency estimates that the seized penises would have been worth more than $24 million. <laughs> Beaver wang. Be, here, eat some beaver wang. <laughs> okay, so in defense of the Chinese, they do come up with some pretty good medicines and some pretty good tinctures and shit. You know, maybe they need it. There's something in there that like, it helps, like, cure cancer or something. Okay. Just well, saying. Just saying. Mike says he doesn't believe the story. He thinks it's bullshit. I uh, believe the story. I, I, I don't. That, that's a lot of freaking beaver. Beaver it penis is, is all like, I know. Well, how about you kill that many? I mean, see, if they're cutting off their dicks, then they basically you're killing the beaver. Yeah. Because they can't fucking pee, right? Well, and they, they go know. on. They go. They go on to say here at the end that several species all over the planet face extinction. Because poachers overhunt them to satisfy the Chinese market, including exactly. including rhinos, pangolins, whatever those are, and Siberian tigers. And they were selling wolf puppies at the market, supposedly. You know, I don't. Who knows if, if some of it's fu- fucking fake or not? I don't know. Okay, I'm looking at a picture of a pangolin what? here, and it basically looks like an armadillo. Okay. So whatever a pangolin is, it's a. Uh, that kind of critter. Uh, armadillo like Yeah. Yeah. So No beaver and, penis for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. There this was another story that cracked me up. I mean, uh, but is who maybe that Nigetel dot com is a parody site room. Uh, I, I don't know. I've never heard of it. Um but it, That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's It seems legitimate. That's all I know. Okay. Uh, you, if you could look at the about or whatever and, and try seems, and I mean, I don't, it, try, try and determine whether or not that's uh, actually legitimate or not. But anyway, this is another story that cracked me up here. Okay. From rawstory.com. <laughs> Trump's border wall blew over in the wind. I saw that. That's and la- awful. It landed on the Mexican side. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. So, Trump's much much hyped border wall suffered an embarrassing setback when the newly installed panels in his fence blew over in the wind. Mexicali police have confirmed with News 11 that a portion of the new border wall fell on the Mexican side of the border, landing on several trees. A portion of the wall landed on trees, preventing it from hitting the ground. It runs about 130 feet in length. Trump's border wall construction has faced setbacks since Mexico refused to pay for it, like Trump said they would. Um, the, the wall falling over was not the only news 
on the project. Uh, a federal team of agents has uncovered the longest illegal border tunnel ever found along the southwest border. Members of the San Diego Tunnel Task Force, they have that, right? Okay. First, discover, first discovered the tunnel's entrance in late August 2019. Uh, subsequent investigation revealed it to be a record breaker. The tunnel is said to stretch over 4,300 feet, which is more than four, three quarters of a mile. Um, <laughs> anyway, hey, great wall there, buddy. Yeah, that's gonna, that's Wait gonna, wall, buddy. <laughs> that's, that's, okay. that's yeah. gonna, that's gonna really Wait work go, out man. there for you. <laughs> okay, so I found some Ole um, Alina jokes. Okay. Okay. So this is a Norwegian thing. All right. Okay. Uh, when Oli and Lena were young and in love, they would get to their favorite spot to park. One night while hugging and kissing, Oli asked Lena, Lena, how would you like to go into the back? No, she replies. So they hug and kiss some more. Again, Loli asked Lena to go in the back. Lena replies, Oli, why are you always asking me to go in the back? I want to stay in the front with you. Okay, so she's dumb. Like, Oli and Lena got married. On their honeymoon trip, they were nearing Minneapolis, and Oli put his hand on Lena's knee. Giggling, Lena said, Oli, you can go further further if you want to. So Oli drove to Duluth. <laughs> so, they're, so they're both dumb. Okay. <laughs> and wouldn't it be yeah. Oli? Is it, wouldn't it be Oli, not Oli? What? Oli. So, Oli, not is it Oli. O L E O L E. Oh, okay. Oli and Lars were on their very first train ride, heading from Hinkley to Minneapolis. They had brought along bananas for lunch. Just as they began to peel them, the train entered a long, dark tunnel. Have you eaten your banana yet? Oli asked excitedly. No, replied Lars. Well, don't touch it then. Oli explained. I just want to bite and went blind. I just took one <laughs> one bite and went blind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so, so they're all dummy, dummies over there. Yeah, they're all stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, here we yeah, Let's just get one more. Oh, little Oli was sitting at the kitchen table doing his homework. He had a puzzled look on his face as he, as he, at, as he considered the assignment that was due, writing an essay about his origin. He turned to question his mother. Mama, where did Grandma come from? He asked. The stork brought her, answered Mama Lena. <laughs> and where did you come from? <laughs> asked little Oli. The stork brought me, his mother answered. And where did I come from? Little Oli inquired. Well, son, the stork brought you too. Mama replied. With a scowl on his face, little Oli picked up his pencil, turned to the stool tablet, and began writing his essay. There have been no natural births in our family for three generations. <laughs> I don't know. It's stupid. Oh. They're stupid jokes. It's, 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 you know, they're dumb. But hey, there, J. J. I guess you have to be from Minnesota to get it. it you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. They're stupid. Yeah. They're kind of funny. There's some. Those weren't that good of ones. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Uh, that's all right. All right. Let's hear, let's hear some more music here. Alright, let's do that. Uh, okay. And, sorry. Uh, sorry, Graham. No, that's alright. I, I thought it I, would be better. I, no, I, 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 I have my moments where I think something's going to be funnier than it is, and then all of a sudden it's just. I enjoyed them. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do the accent, but I bombed on that too. Alright, well, ha happy birthday, young lady. Yesterday she turned 31. Yes, happy birthday to Samantha. And here you go. All righty, there you have the uh, the police. That's a uh, Hansel request. Uh, Hansel has requested that at least twice, if not three or four times. So I decided I'd go ahead and take care of that for you. Hansel, the police, every breath you take, uh, he'll be watching you. He'll be watching you. Before that, we had uh, Leo Maraccioli. Uh, he, he just put that out today. Uh, carry on, my wayward son. Uh, by uh, uh, it's a Kansas tune, but uh, and, and the only reason I actually like that song, I do like that song, uh, was for, because of the show uh, Supernatural. Uh, 
super, supernatural used to play that uh as as part of their either intro or outro um <laughs> and by the way if you're not not familiar with the uh the supernatural program it is in its 15th year and this is the last year there's only a few shows left uh, episodes left of that particular show uh, it's going to be kind of sad to see that go, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's 15 years. That's a good run for any show, especially one where they're just fighting monsters all the time. Anyway, we kicked it off there with Samantha Fish, hey, Sammy, uh, doing Bulletproof off of her album, uh, Kill or Be Kind, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that's not really much to stock. I, I don't really go anywhere, so you'd just be sitting outside all the time in, in one place. Uh, this is not, there's not really any stocking to go on. <laughs> oh, man. So you still... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It would be really boring to stock Rimner. Yeah. It would. Yeah. I'm... Like, he would be doing, like, not much. <laughs> you know, like, uh, yeah. So has his heart on for Grimner. It, I don't know. He just wants. He's like so like fascinated by Grimner <laughs> and where Grimner lives and everything. I'm 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 so fascinating. He, you are. You're fascinating. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So um. Yeah. yeah. Hans is a little sucker, though. He always wants to know what's going on in Moriarty. He's, like, always asking questions about Moriarty. Well, that's part of his job at the NSA, you know. Right. Oh, of course. You know, he tries to act like he's he, he cares, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I care about your life. I care. No, he's just interrogating. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, you know, you know, Hans is an okay guy, actually. Um, <laughs> he's... He, he 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 plays a part. He, he's 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 like um, who's that guy? Uh, Stephen Colbert. You know you know you know who Stephen Colbert is? Yes. He he used to do that show that, on the Comedy Central there with yeah. the uh, with uh, John Stewart, and, yeah. or after John Stewart, and he played the part of this of this uh, uh, total douchebag. Um, uh, right. <laughs> don't, don't Some do, people have to have alter egos to like seriously justify their existence like that. They can't live without that alter ego, and sometimes the alter ego can be a real fucking asshole. <laughs> that's not a good thing. You like, do you really want your alter ego to be a fucking asshole? You know, <laughs> you might want to question that choice. Just saying. Anyway, he played. He played. Uh, uh, Colbert played the part of a, this uh, super douchebag, uh, mega right winger. You know, mega, mega, mega. Right, yeah, totally. Yeah, uh, but, 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 but he's... I don't think he was really playing a part there, was he? But, oh, yeah, absolutely. He's a total fucking liberal. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> he's a total fucking liberal. <laughs> okay. Uh, seven, uh, 11, uh, 11 and 4 is 15. Okay, okay, so we got, let's see what we got here. Four, so five minutes. Okay. <laughs> and so and, and so Hans, I think he, he plays the part of this ma mega status. I don't think he really is. Uh, I mean, he says things sometimes that let you know that he understands that that there's a bunch of although although some of his stuff, uh, he, I think he actually does believe in, but a lot of it, I, I think he's he's just playing a part there. Uh, and, and he's he's very so he's got that dry New England humor. Um, <laughs> Oh God! Anyway, <laughs> uh. all right. Where do we want to go here for the last? Oh, this story. What you say? What this is total nonsense. But but this is what they're telling you. You know, I guess to keep people maybe still to fly on airplanes or whatever. Um, oh yeah, uh, be because. Let's go jump on an airplane. Because it's such nonsense. This is no way. Uh, anyway, oh. here it is from the Daily Mail. It says, okay. where is the safest place to sit on a plane to, avo the to avoid catching coronavirus? 
They said by the window. That's what they said, by the window. Bullshit. Right. Bullshit. You're in a fucking germ yeah, tube. Yeah, bullshit. It's a Petri dish. Yeah. It's a flying yeah. Petri dish. You're, you're in this big-ass germ trapped. tube. Don't get on a plane. That's the, Don't get on a plane right now. Do not board an airplane or a, any, any like, clothes. Like, be very, you know, aware. <laughs> like, when I'm at the store, like, I'll be at Walmart or something or any, any store. It doesn't matter what store. Yeah. If I hear someone hacking up a lung... Or some fucking sick kids with their nose all running. I can hear them coughing. They're obviously sick. And little kids don't cover their mouths and shit. They don't fucking care, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I try to avoid that aisle. Yeah. Hey, hey, wait, this is... I try not to be the same aisle as those people. You know what I'm saying? I don't want your germs. I don't want your kids cold. Like, get the fuck... Keep the kid home and go let the other parent go shopping. Like, why do you got to bring the whole family out shopping when your kid's obviously fucking sick? Okay. Anyway, this this article here tells you, this this article says that if you sit next to the window, you reduce the number of encounters you have on the plane. Then That's it goes true. Then it goes on to say the biggest threat uh, uh, is... Unless you got a pee. The, the biggest threat to public health is the inf- if the infected person is a member of the crew. Now, the crew interacts with everybody. And right. the crew also prepares your food. Right. And... So there. <laughs> Another word of advice: Do not eat airplane food. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Do not eat airplane food. If you're if you're on a long ass flight, you don't really have a whole lot of choice many right. times. Right, but no, but, bring your own goddamn food. Bring some snacks or something. Well, they don't. They don't let you. They don't. They, they, they don't let you take that shit through the goddamn TSA. Um, they so, don't. No, I mean you can't have all that stuff. What the fuck ever? That's right. This is why I like driving in my own vehicle. Like, unless there's, like, roadblocks and shit, which there could be in the future. Like, this is why, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is why I like driving my own vehicle. This is why, well, why do you want to drive? You should just fly. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, the, so, the, so the, I'm going to fucking somewhere cool okay. in Jamaica, I'm not getting on a plane. <laughs> here, here they, they show you the picture. Right, here, uh, you'll see it on the screen in a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. so if you're in the middle seats there, there, those are all like solid red, like you're gonna die if you sit in those. Oh seats. yeah, right. Oh yeah. And, and, and it's so bullshit. And, 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 and total, it's total. It's, 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 it's total, total, absolute likely yep. uh, likelihood of direct contact with an infected person. And it's just, it's the whole like, plane is a petri dish. Yeah. Just when, if you're gonna fly an airplane to go somewhere, seriously. Take the echinacea, take the fucking vitamin C, dose up on that shit before you get on that goddamn plane. Well, let me Just tell saying. you, let me tell you. Build up your immune system. The, you, you may be able to raise a little shade, but these windows don't open. No, they do not. <laughs> you're not going to get fresh air. You're, you're not going to get fresh air. It's like logical, oh, I'm by a window, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's in your head, dude. That, that, no, oh, no, you're God. trying to justify it. You're trying to be all right with this. Yeah, so it's You're better insanity. off stocking up on echinacea and fucking vitamin C before you go anywhere. And bring it with you. It's bring limited. it with you. Well, Japan, Japan's not too bad. Uh, well, they might not let you bring it. Well, they let you bring vitamin C, Graham. Probably. I, I don't know. Because why. it's in your luggage, in your suitcase. Yeah, no, it, it, it's probably fine. They're gonna let you bring vitamin fucking C. In yeah, there's only six, there's only six cases in Japan right now, Circle. So your you, you cousin. Yeah, he's good. He's fine. Your cousin's you know. probably fine. You know, yeah. Fukushima happened what? How many years ago now? Uh, 2011, so nine years ago. Okay, nine years ago, Fukushima yeah. happened. He should be okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't drink the water. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what we got to we, we do, <laughs> we, we, we do our last set here. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll be back after this. Hey, y'all, y'all and uh, yeah, so enjoy. Okay, so, oh, well, yeah, but, you know, I'm not laughing. Oh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I, I I played. I had to run thing. Go ahead. Okay. And say what I'm not thing. laughing about the food and water thing because I I think it's funny. It's really kind of scary if you think about it because yeah. it's like almost everything out there now is yeah. is like toxic. Yeah, it's, it's all contaminated. This is not good. 
Yeah, no, it's not okay. good at all. Not good at all. No, no. Okay. All right, kicking it off with the Cowboy Tech Request here. Enjoy. You should have ten years after. It's looking pretty rosy. <laughs> Black Betty. <laughs> Christopher Amoroso and his uh, version of Black Betty here. That's some jam and stuff, let me tell you. Before that, we had a Beatle request, an actual Beatle request there. White Zombie, welcome to the planet, motherfucker. Uh, prior to that was the Dropkick Murphy's brand new digital single there, Smash Shit Up. It just came out today, just dropped today. Check it out. It's, it's great stuff. You can uh, download it on their site there. 12 inch 45 on color vinyl, if you prefer. And we kicked it off with a cowboy tech request 10 years after featuring Alvin Lee with a little promo there back in 1971 of I'd Love to Change the World. Uh, Excellent song. Yeah, was a great set, man. Great set. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, all song, all those songs are excellent. Yes, indeed. So uh, that that's gonna wrap it up here. Uh, tomorrow you got the Dork Table at two p.m. Eastern with Flash. No Grammy. She will be out of town, as far as I know. Anyway, she uh, said that she was. Grammy's a busy lady. She is. She is. She got all that family stuff going on. You People know, to see places to go. go yeah, on. yeah. So uh, uh, Flash will be She's on, on there. her rocket chair. That's right, jamming around, jamming around. So, 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 so jamming Flash, around will, over. Yeah. Fla Flash will be going solo again unless somebody decides to join him. And uh, I won't mention any names, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on Sunday doing Eastern, my normal time, with the Blues for three hours, and we'll be playing the, the Blues. Da, bla, da blues, and we'll be playing trivia here in the chat during uh, that time, uh, having fun there with that. If you if you like that kind of thing, and followed up by Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up the big O oh, can O oh, whoop ass, <laughs> and I'll be back again on Monday night, uh, Monday evening, Grim leftover 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern. Check the schedule on RealLibertyMedia.com for all of the other shows that come on right here. And the podcast. On you know, RLM Radio. You know, yes, indeed. You can always catch it later. It's awesome. Yeah, all kinds of we got We got hundreds and hundreds of podcasts up there, posted up there on RealLibertyMedia.com. And uh, so yes, take advantage. Uh, use those or I'll delete them. Listen, you know, they're from the past, but whatever, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, you got anything else? I'm good. All right, peace. Peace.